This video will cover the topic, Solving a Multi-Step Equation Involving Natural Logarithms. Before we begin solving a multi-step equation involving natural logarithms, let's review some important logarithm rules we will be using. First, it's important to remember that we can express a logarithm in exponential form. Take for example, log base b of y is equal to x. This logarithm is equivalent to b to the x is equal to y. Some other important logarithm rules we might use to solve problems of this sort are the logarithm product rule, logarithm quotient rule, and the logarithm power rule. The logarithm product rule states that the log of base b of x times y is equal to log of base b x plus the log of base b y. The logarithm quotient rule states that the log of base b of x divided by y is equal to the log of base b of x minus the log of base b of y. The logarithm power rule states that the log of base b of x to the y is equal to y times the log of base b of x. What does it mean when a logarithm is a natural logarithm? A natural logarithm is a logarithm with a base of e. The number e is known as Euler's number. Because e is always the base of the natural logarithm, we can substitute it for the variable b in our logarithm form. The most common way to represent a natural logarithm is in the form ln y is equal to x. Remembering the way that we can represent a logarithm in exponential form, we find that ln of y is equal to x is equivalent to e to the x is equal to y. Now, let's try out an example problem. Here, we have a problem asking us to solve for x given the equation 4 plus ln of x minus 1 is equal to 2. How do we go about solving this problem? First, it is important that we isolate the natural logarithm to one side of the equation. Doing so, we will get that ln of x minus 1 is equal to negative 2. To solve this problem, we must remember the way to express a natural logarithm in exponential form. Remember that ln of x is equal to y is equivalent to e to the y is equal to x. Okay, so applying this rule to our problem, we will find that the ln of x minus 1 equals negative 2 is equivalent to e to the negative 2 equals x minus 1, right? That's right. Once we isolate x, we find that x is equal to e to the negative 2 plus 1. Using our calculator, we find that this is approximately equivalent to 1.14. Oh, okay. I think I understand this now. But just to be sure, let me go over what I've learned. To solve a multi-step equation involving natural logarithms, there are certain rules that should be remembered, such as the logarithm product rule, the logarithm quotient rule, and the logarithm power rule. It's also important to remember how to express a logarithm in its exponential form. Using these rules, we can rewrite logarithmic expressions in different ways that allow us to solve for the given variables. That's exactly right. You understand this topic so well, you should be the teacher.